Okay, how do braces, rubber bands, and elastics work? Stay tuned in this video and I'm gonna let you know how. Hey, what's up? It's your boy GK, back at it again with another one. So first things first, what braces do, braces pull your teeth together and straighten them. So now what comes into question is, what are the rubber bands or elastics that some people have to use, some people don't have to use? Now what these rubber bands main purpose is to do is align your bite. So now they straighten your teeth with the braces, but now they gotta make sure either your overbite or underbite is aligned perfectly. Now in the beginning when I had got my teeth straight, it was straight, but they still poked out a good amount. Now with bands, it's almost even. That's the main point of why rubber bands are needed. So now, what do you want to do when you get elastics? You want to make sure that you're wearing your elastics 24 hours a day, especially at nighttime. I've noticed that throughout the nights when I'm wearing my bands, I start to notice the most difference because you're wearing it for technically eight hours, but it doesn't really bother you at all because you're asleep. You wake up in the morning, the progress has been done, you switch your bands. Make sure you switch your bands in the morning. Never wear the same bands that you wore yesterday. They actually recommend that you usually change your bands usually about three to four times a day. And make sure if one breaks on one side or either side, you replace all of them at the same time. So that way you have the same amount of tension being applied to all of your teeth at the same amount. Now if you fail to wear your bands, this is gonna lead to a longer treatment. Now this longer treatment is horrible because first of all, you were only required to wear your bands for a certain amount of time. But now since you haven't wore your bands, now you gotta wear them for a longer time. Now they done stretched it out, now they, let's say it's only four months or five months, they stretch it out to almost eight months to a year. Just wear your bands like they instruct you to. Now there's some things that you don't wanna do when you have braces. Now one of the big things that you don't wanna do when you have braces is wear them for too long. So if you're not wearing your bands and you're required to wear your braces for a longer period of time, it leads to this thing, it's like a decalcification on your teeth. And basically it just looks really bad where your braces were when you get them off. It's like white spots, but then the rest of it is horrible looking. You don't want to wear your braces for too long. You only want to wear them for as long as you were instructed by your orthodontist. So make sure you're following the tips that your orthodontist sent you for braces bands. Now it is very normal to feel sore once you first get your bands put in. This soreness only lasts for probably about three, maybe four days. If you follow some of the tips that I've made in some spacer videos and things like that, like when you first get braces, this can definitely improve on the amount of time that you're feeling sore or the amount of comfort that you feel when you're sore. You make sure that you always wear the bands. It doesn't matter if it's sore or not, always keep those bands in there because those bands are gonna help you later on when it's time for them to come out and your braces come out and your teeth are straight and everything is looking the way that your orthodontist promised it to look in the way you were hoping it to look. And last thing I really wanna to touch on in this video, never double up on bands. Now it might make sense that if you forgot to wear bands for a day, that you double up on them. So now once you're doubled up, supposedly the extra pressure is supposed to pull the teeth a lot faster, but it's honestly the opposite of that. So when you're putting too much pressure on the teeth and you're pulling on them too hard, it can damage the roots of your teeth and this damage can cause either this to slow down progress, stop progress completely. They might just have to take your braces off because you damaged them too far because you wore double on the bands. So never wear double on the bands. Make sure you stay up to date. Just wear them 24 seven and you won't have an issue at all. So make sure you always wearing your bands. Don't wear them part time because it's just gonna make the soreness last even longer. Your teeth will get used to it. Trust me, it eventually gets easier. If you have any extra questions, put them down in the comment section below or contact your orthodontist because he or she can also let you know the best steps that you want to take for your progress with your bands and your braces. Both of these together equals to a proper way of your braces being on your teeth. That's the thing I really wanted to touch on today. It's your boy G Kid. Make sure if you like this video, hit that like button. If you love this video, smash, kick, slam on that subscribe button. It's your boy G Kid. I can't wait to see you in the next one. It's your boy out with another Braces Tips. Peace.